What's going on you guys, this is MXKD, I have another Dell Optiplex 960, this is the desktop DT and this video is going to be teared down this assembly to show you how to do that. So first off we're going to remove the side cover panel and we're going to start off, so you can just start recommend wear latex gloves if you want. And we're going to go ahead and remove the front cover bezel and there's got to be clips right here. First you're going to remove the optical drive, you're pressing this clip right here. And to remove the optical drive, disconnect the SATA power. And we're going to remove the front cover bezel right here. There's little clips right here with your finger really gently. One right here and one on the left, one in the middle, and one right here in the right. So it just comes right off. But really careful, you don't break him off. So here's the front cover bezel, Dell Optiplex 960. This is the, the DT desktop. And so we're going to go ahead and remove the the hard drive and what you do is little clips right here, you take your finger like this and you're gonna go like this to the little clips, one on the left, one on the right and you're gonna go like this really easy and the hard drive comes right out and what you're gonna do is it flips it like this, take it with your hand and it comes out. Disconnect the SATA and power cable and you're gonna move from the plastic hard drive caddy Really easy to come out, comes out like this. And what we're gonna do is remove the video card. There's a little clip yarn right here. Press your finger, lift this up to secure lock for the PCI brackets. And let's to remove the video card, there's a little clip right here. You see the PCI Express X16 slot? Secure lock right here. So you're gonna take your finger right here and you press it down to release the video card, and it comes right out. Here's the video card we removed and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect all the SATA cables here because we're going to try, we're going to try to pull, remove the power supply so you're going to disconnect all the SATA cables now what we're going to do is remove the, the memory here and the memory removes really easy, this little clips right here you just, uh, it comes like this, finger and the memory comes right out really easy Okay, remove the memory. Now what we're gonna do is uh, make sure you disconnect the four pin right here for the power. And it's got a little secure clip. Uh, you press your finger like this to release the secure lock, then it comes out. Now what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna make sure everything's disconnected from the motherboard. And we're going to remove the tw mini 24 pin right here. And this comes out really easy. Just uh, there's a little clip right in the middle too, the secure lock clip. And you have to press on that to release it too right here. The little clip right here with your finger to release the secure lock. And disconnect the front panel USB to the motherboard. All the cables you have to disconnect because we're going to remove the power supply. And on the back. There will be two screws that you have to use the Phillips screwdriver for the power supply. Move the memory here. And there will be two screws in the back. You got to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws so we can go ahead and remove the power supply. Right there. Now there's a little clip right here. You see right there, you're going to take a screwdriver right here and you press it down to release the secure lock right there, like that and the power supply should come right out. So we remove the power supply, now what we're going to have to do is, uh, we're going to remove the heat sink from the processor right here. And it's going to have four screws, one, two right here, and two in the top, two in the bottom. And you can disconnect the clip right here, the four pin right here, for the fan header. Disconnect that from the fan. 
cooling CPU. This is the processor cooler fan. So you have to disconnect. There's a little clipper here. You press on it too with your finger to release the lock. See right there. So here's the heat sink for the processor removed. Now we're going to start it off. Make sure all the cables disconnect the internal speaker right here. Disconnect and the internal speaker comes right out really easy. Just a little clip right here, you press on it to remove and it comes right out. And what we're gonna do is, uh, let's see what else we're gonna have to remove here. And we're gonna go ahead and try to pull the motherboard out. And to do that, we're gonna disconnect the, we have to use a Phillips screwdriver and there's a sensor right here, you have to unscrew that, the unclip right here, there's a two wire, two pin right here. Disconnect that, this is for the front sensor, look like for the heat. Right here, the sensor, get that disconnected. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six screws we have to remove to remove the motherboard. Okay, so let's go start off on the bottom. Here, one, two. Three, four, four screws, five, six, and seven. There's one right here in the corner. There's gonna be one right there in the corner you have to remove. Okay, so they had a total of seven screws that you have to remove from the motherboard. And you can go ahead and pull out the motherboard just like this, really gently. So what you're gonna do is uh and it comes right out. So we pulled the motherboard out. Now, now what we're gonna do is disconnect the processor really easy. Just take this finger with a little clip right here. And you press out like this, release the clip. Put your finger really gently, be really careful. And remove the processor just like that. And so here's the motherboard. And if you want to remove the battery from the battery socket, really easy. So you're going to take this right here, a little clip on the bottom, and the battery will come right out, just like that. So here's the motherboard. And let's see what else we're going to remove here. That's about it. And uh, we could probably remove the front, uh, front USB here. Let me see if I could do that. We'll look at the front and here's the front here I'm not gonna remove that it looks like yeah it's, you could, it does it comes off but I'm not gonna remove it so it's got it holds by a little clip right here and it comes right off right here there's a clip right here you press on a secure lock to release it and it comes right out just like that so that's about it you guys this is was the there and this is for the hood sensor right here, for the psycho panel sensor here. And uh, I'm not going to remove that. If you can remove it, you just slice to the side and it comes right off. This is when you open the side cover panel. This uh, warns you that the side cover case is open. That's what it does. So that's about it, you guys. This is for the Dell Optiplex 960 disassembly teardown. Thanks for watching. Bye.